<laughs> Julius. The the green ending seems to explain what happens. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to Infinity Bound 721 for putting together all of the endings for us. Yeah, just go to the end of the hall. Oh yeah, I see the lighting effects and stuff. Yeah, he's playing with a controller, so this is super. happened to you oh the third meeting with the white-faced man he's so creepy oh So she was in the hospital as well. There's the doll. Everything all fucking sandy. Oh, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand that either. <clears throat> I thought this was supposed to be the afterlife. Where we saw her on the hill. That's all right, you. Hmm. So I'm assuming this is your girlfriend, wife, something like that. Something like that. Significant Some other. Right, something happened to her, and she's dying. It and I seems guess to be you, good. you just had like a mental breakdown after that, and you had to be admitted to the hospital, uh, to a psych hospital. And so, yeah, I guess all of this is in your head. So this is this is real? Cause that yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. Hold on. So that, so you're in like a suit, like after a funeral or something? Something like that. Then you came, came back up here where y'all used to come together. Mm -hmm. There's you with no mask on. Why was the blady thing mother, though? <laughs> I have no idea. Why is it called mother? Why is everything so fucked up? <laughs> or is it just him, like, representing his struggle? Alright, so this is the white ending. So this is w after the green ending, but before the yellow ending, right? Right. So you have to get... The green perfect. ending. You have to be perfect. Okay. And instead of going to the end of the hall, you come down here. But you have to have like a S star mental health rating. Okay. Hmm. 
Jo. Oh. Hmm. There's a mouth, like, ma teeth all over the Teeth and veins. Oh my god. Oh boy. He's behind some kind of fucking lumpy ass meaty pile. What is happening? There's so many of them. God, what is this? That is like seizure inducing. Yeah. <laughs> It's like hurting my eyes. Hmm. Glass of water. So is that his therapist? Oh, well, maybe. <clears throat> Are you dying? <laughs> what is happening now? Looks like it is. Okay, so maybe this is you, because you had perfect mental health, you got better and left the hospital, and now you're at the point of where you're old and dying of old age, and you're seeing a vision of her, and that's like, it's supposed to be the other way around, you were the one that was supposed to die, not me, but, and she said, you have that dusty old thing, so your entire life you've kept that, you've kept that plushie. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, that, it makes sense to me. So There's you, still you one get, more ending. You got through it, and you had your mental health, and you. That's why it's a little. And, that's why it's a little futuristic looking in here. Right. Do this one last thing for me. But then, what was that hallway? Was that a representation of all of your mental health problems that you had to oh. get through? And you had to get over her because she kept reappearing. Yeah, but he still has the plushie. Right. So, uh. he's, so you know, the problems still exist. You don't ever truly... You, you, you know, trauma isn't something that has ever fully gotten rid of. Right. It like It's like a scar, you know? You still have it with you. Oh, there's the cat this time. 
Did he, so he got rid of the... The old one? Might have to look up some summaries or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's got it in his hand this time instead of sitting there and leaving it on the ground. This part seems to be the same. Yeah, just with a different flush. Maybe the yellow ending will give us a little bit more insight. I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -mm. I'd I'd like I, the, the green ending is the true ending. That you, you see what happened to her. and Okay. So this, after you get the white ending, you start a new game and you wake up in bed with the cat plushie. And then, so this was the first time you come to Chie's place when she gives you the gun. So that you give her this instead of the other right. thing. Right. So this is you moving moving on with Chie instead of her. This ending seems to be more like you're you're resigning to your fate. I guess because you said, I don't want to do it. Because this is very early in the game. Mm -hmm. But in order to get to this point, you would have had already had to beat in the game with the green ending and the white ending. Right. So you say, I don't want to go through all of this again. So I'm, I'm assuming this is you're ending the game super early without really doing anything. So I guess you're just kind of resigning yourself to your fate. You're accepting, you know, hmm. that, yeah, I'm a crazy person. It's, uh, man, I hate having to, I hate when it's like, oh, you know, you interpret it yourself. Yeah. Just tell me. <laughs> But the green uh, is I the closest. I, I think I like the green ending the best. Where it's... Oh, oh. post-game scene and alternate title screen. Yeah, and I don't understand what happened to the city either. Because you sit on the hill, there's multiple different... Okay, so... Then you do escape? So, I don't think the city is real. But when you're sitting on the hill, why, why is sometimes it's green and plush looking down on the city and the other times it's like a desert? I don't think that the... I think that the green city is real. Right. 
the any like the ruined city is is a representation of himself, I guess. Like, like after okay, she, of your, your ruined psyche or something like. Well, that? like without her, the world is destroyed. Right, uh, your you. world was destroyed. I think is what it's supposed to mean. Uh, we'll go with that. Makes sense to me. And. So he moves on in the green ending and leaves the plush behind. And I guess white ending is he took her words too literally because she said, take care of yourself. So he obsessively took care of himself, which is why right. he, he couldn't you, truly. You have on. to have perfect mental health. Yeah. And so he never moved on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, there we have it. Well, thank you, Jasper Byrne. That was that was pretty good. I wish I could have eaten that ham. <laughs> the regrets.